Welcome to Dynamic Foundry Group small video section. We are going to see a small video on calculating pouring time for the casting. Formula for calculating pouring time for the casting is 0.95 plus casting average wall thickness into 0.854 into square root of punch weight. Once again, I repeat casting pouring time is equal to 0.95 plus casting average wall thickness into 0.854 into square root of punch weight. Here, 0.95 is considered as efficiency coefficient factor, which is I am considering as a constant for simplifying the calculations, as there will not be much change in the chemistry with respect to grades. Similarly, one has to understand that all the casting weights are to be taken in LBS. So that uh, conversion factor of kgs to LBS is very, very important and you have to remember it. One kgs is equal to 2.2 LBS. Similarly, all dimensions are to be taken in inches. One inch is equal to 25.4 mm. So you have to remember these two conversion factors that is one kgs is equal to 2.2 LBS. One inch is equal to 25.4 mm. And while applying this formula, you have to consider or you have to convert all casting weights into LBS and all casting dimensions into inches. Again, I'm repeating the efficiency co coefficient, which is 0.95, I'm considering as a constant in this particular formula. Again, we have to understand that the casting wall thickness plays an important role. As casting wall thickness goes on increasing, the pouring time will also go on increasing. So considering casting wall thickness correctly is most important factor here to get correct pouring time. So you have to consider casting wall thickness correctly so that you can get uh, optimum or be, uh, better or rather you can say correct pouring time. So the relation of casting wall thickness with pouring time is very important and we're going to see that in our uh, last few slides in this presentation with the example. So now we go to the first example of calculating casting pouring time. So I've taken here example of DFG housing. Material gate is HGN 500 bar seven. Casting weight is 50 kg, number of cavity one. So total good weight will be 50 kg. Expected yield is 75%. So expected bunch weight is, is 67 kg that I am converting into LBS. So it is now uh, bunch weight will be 147 LBS. Square root of bunch weight, that is 12.11. Average wall thickness is 15 mm. Remember, average wall thickness is 15 mm. So I'm converting that 15 mm into inches. So average wall thickness is 0.59 inch. And by applying the formula, that is 0.95 plus 0.59, that is a, uh, average wall thickness, into 0.853 into square root of 147. 147 is the punch weight in LBS. So 0.95 plus 0.503 into 12.11, that is 1.4523 into 12.11, that is 18 seconds is the pouring time for the 50 kg casting with 15 mm wall thickness. So this is how you can calculate the pouring time for the casting. Uh, we are going for, going for the second example. The second example is similar example with 50 kg of casting, one cavity, Expected is 75 percent, bunch weight uh, expected is 67 kg, expected bunch weight that is 147 LBS, I'm converted kgs into LBS. The square root of bunch weight will be 12.11. So up to this, everything is same as per example one. Now there is a change in wall thickness. I'm considering here the wall thickness is 25 mm. So average wall thickness in inches is 0 0.98 inch. So the formula, we can apply 0 0.95 plus 0 0.98, that is the average wall thickness in inches, into 0 0.853 into square root of 147. 147 is the casting bunch, uh, bunch weight in uh, LBS, that is 0 0.95 plus, plus 0 0.835 into 12.11, that is 1.78 into 8 point, uh, there's some, some mistake, but uh, the calculation comes around 22 seconds. The boring time is 22 seconds. So this is how you can able to calculate the boring time. 
So example number three, example th number three is the similar one again. 507 is the grade DMG housing. 50 kg is the casting weight. Number of cavity one. Box good weight 50 kg. Expected yield 75 percent. Expected bunch weight is 67 kg. That is 147 lbs. Square root of bunch weight is 12.11 lb uh, lbs. Average wall thickness. Now I'm considering the wall thickness as 50 mm. So average wall thickness in inches is 1.97. And the formula here is 0.95 plus 1.97 into 0.853 into square root of 147. 1.47 is the bunch weight in LBS. 1.97 is the average wall thickness uh, in inches. So the calculation comes to 32 seconds. The pouring time is 32 seconds. So this is how you can calculate the pouring time of casting by just getting a very simple data of your casting weight, number of cavity, bunch weight, and average wall thickness. If you know all the small three or four things, you can able to find out what should be the pouring time of your casting. Uh, this is very simple formula you can apply anywhere with the small, uh, you can say inputs, and you can get the uh, expected pouring time, or you can uh, assume that uh, bunch weight, you can get the pouring expected pouring time in your development as well. So this is how the pouring time can be calculated. So now we can say that pouring time is mainly depending in the casting on the wall thickness, and hence one has to consider the same while calculating the pouring time of the casting. Uh, we, are, we are going to see the effect of casting thickness on pouring time in next slide. You can see here the casting weight is similar, 50 kg everywhere. The casting thickness varies from 15, 25, 50, and 60. And with respect to casting thickness, you can see the pouring time also varies. For 15 uh, mm wall thickness, the pouring time is 18 seconds. 25, 25 mm wall thickness, the pouring time is 22 second for 50 mm wall thickness pouring time is 32 second and for 60 mm wall thickness it should be it will be 36 seconds so as casting thickness increases your pouring time also gets increased so it is very important to apply what is exactly casting wall thickness while calculating the pouring time it is very important so by considering this with a very less inputs like casting weight expected yield or bunch weight and casting section thickness, you can easily go and determine the pouring time for the box pouring. So this exercise will also help you to validate your existing getting and pouring time against the theoretical one. So you can calculate uh, what should be my theoretical pouring time against what I'm getting right now so that you can work out on those factors and this will definitely going to help you. So this is from my side on this particular video on casting pouring time calculation. So in next video, we're going to see some more aspect of getting calculations. So till then, take care. Bye-bye.